Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We have mail. Santee, could you do an episode about semi-automatic pistols in the Old West? Iron Wings 3 187. Hmm, semi-autos in the Old West. We can do that. When this question first came across, I thought, geez, I'm a revolver guy. However, I do own a semi-auto for a home defense, and the darn thing puts nine shots through the same hole. Yeah, that really confuses the crime scene investigators when they're called to my home. But we are looking for a pro. <clears throat> so what's a semi-automatic? Simply, the action is self-loading. The recoil from the previous round cocks the hammer and ejects the spent case all in one fell swoop. A spring-loaded magazine feeds another round into the chamber. The first patented semi-auto pistol was an Austrian design called the Salvatore Tormus. Although it was produced in 1891, there were many revisions that had to be made before their military adopted its use in 1896. Ah! The action gained a lot of popularity and a few manufacturers were churning out their designs. The first one to be mass produced was the Borchardt C93. However, American military tests found flaws and didn't adopt it. Then in walks the C96 Mauser broom handle, which soared to the top of the popularity list. At the end of its run, more than a million had been made. Here's an interesting one, an automatic revolver. Yep. The Webley Fosbury, manufactured in the 1890s, was popular in Britain until the end of World War I. You could also fire it single action. Pretty neat, huh? Around the same time, we see the genius of John Moses Browning. Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. Browning came out with his take on the firearm and developed the successful locked breech action, which is still being used today. His design of the M1900 gave rise to the famous Colt 1911. So, the Old West had them? Well, they were making appearances towards the close of it. If you consider that the Wild West was not over in 1899, which many agree upon now, then it does open the door for these new technologies to be used. I can find a number of newspaper articles about self-loaders in the period, but not much is said about who in the civilian market ended up with them. It was pretty foreign to the outlaws and lawmen who had entrusted their safety to reliable six-guns. However, the idea of more rounds and a really quick reload had to be very appealing to these folks. Tom Horn escaped from jail in 1903 and stole one on the way out. Unfortunately, he didn't know how to work the action and was quickly recaptured. Why is it so funny shape? The shells led into a magazine, Father. The magazine into the handle of the gun. Gas operator, you see. Hollywood used them in westerns. Movies that depict the waning days of the Wild West show the upgraded gun tech. Big Jake and Joe Kidd are excellent examples. Father. The Wild Bunch, which classifies as a western even though it's post-World War I, also has some impressive early 20th century firearms. The Red Dead Redemption game franchise highlights early semi-autos, giving the gamer a chance to choose between those or the classic revolvers. The great sport of cowboy action shooting has competitions called the Wild Bunch, Two. modeled after the aforementioned movie. Good shooting, Jedi. For over 120 years, the semi-auto has been around, and that doesn't look like it's going to change soon. If you're a staunch revolver shooter, it might be time to open your mind and consider having one in your arsenal. But just one. You don't want to make your single actions mad. They can be very territorial. Say, hey man, sorry I'm late. Uh, but you know what? I had this really good idea of what you should make your next episode on. Semi-autos in the Old West. All those old, like, you know, Colt pocket guns and the hammerless and stuff like that, those are awesome. And 
1911. Come on, the Wild Bunch, Sam Peckinpah, William Holden. That's what this episode is on. I just did an episode on that. Uh, I could really use your help. I do have a channel on all this stuff, Batchack JW. Folks, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you on down the trail. See, I helped you anyway.